the water, Wawak Kadash, the water, Kai. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All praises to Ahaya Kased. That's all praises to Anoki Said. That's all praises to the great I Am loving kindness. Bahashem Yeshaya. Bahashem Moza, the Lamb. In the name of the Messiah, the Hamasiach. Shalawam family. This is little son Sabal Nabaya. Family, today I am simply going to read you a very short story. This story is going to come from the Book of Remembrance of Our Ancient Grandmothers, the Zedekadelabab edition. So if you have this new edition already, you can go to page 516 and read alongside me. That's page 516 in the Book of Remembrance of Our Ancient Grandmothers, the Zedekadelabab edition. Things you need to know before we start this reading. Number one, if you guys remember when we got the Handbook of Established Righteousness, if you look in the front of the Handbook of Established Righteousness, it tells about a strong angel, Ariah. It says this strong angel is the protector he is a protector of rights. So the understanding is, if you use the handbook of established righteousness in a way that you should not be using it, then the strong angel, Ariah, will do something. Something that will cause your power to decrease. I'm not actually reading it right now and I don't have the book in front of me. So I can't tell you exactly what it says, but go to the front of the Handbook of Established Righteousness and there you can read about the strong angel, Ariah. The other thing that you need to know before we begin this reading is, you know, it's funny. It's funny how the spirit works. Because just yesterday, just yesterday, I was thinking to myself and I was wondering. I said, I was wondering about the story in the Bible that talks about Cain and Abel's sacrifices. And how Cain's sacrifice was not received. I was thinking about that yesterday. And... I was thinking about how when you read about Cain and Abel in the Book of Remembrance, there was no mention of that. So family, I started reading this and lo and behold, there is a mention of that. And so remember family that Cain's name was Kenna. And Abel's name was Mataniah. So with that, fits, with that said, family, let's go ahead and begin our reading. These are the words of the seer. Who is Ben Elim, which name means the brother of the trees. So let's start reading page 516. There is an account concerning the strong angel, Ariah, that came when I inquired of the Lord for more information, wondering why our first parents had no evil come to threaten them when they so clearly were focused on Anoki said. They knew Moza, and he forgave them, and they had him tell them he would walk with them in their new temporal world. But still, 
their thoughts and feelings were focused on what they experienced with Anoki said in Eden before they sinned and needed Anoki said to be a man for them. They being protected and the people of Shalepha vulnerable to evil seemed like a contradiction. So I went for a walk in the evening to inquire of the Lord because I am not settled when there seems to be any contradiction in what comes by Urim. During that walk, I had a vision appear before me, just like it would if I were looking with Urim. I don't remember this ever happening to me before. I saw a young lad named Naki sitting beside Kava, his mother, and it was his coming of age ceremony, and he had his new clothes on with the flower crown upon his head, and the people who were assembling were bringing food offerings for the sacred meal that is always a part of a coming-of-age ceremony. And I saw that they ate the sacred meal at the beginning of the ceremony, instead of at the end as we do. And as they were eating, people were taking little portions of food and putting it in the fire so that Anoki said could eat with them. And this was according to the original instructions they received early in their lives in the temporal world. And it came to pass that the fire burnt up the offerings of Mataniah, but with the offerings of Kenna, that which he obtained in the hunt, the fire went out. And every attempt to rekindle the fire did not succeed in burning up the offering of Kenna. And when Yatsakad heard of it, he stopped the ceremony. Family, don't forget, Yatsakad is Adam. Let's continue. And when Yatsakad heard of it, he stopped the ceremony. And the ceremony was abandoned. And the part of the ceremony where his son would learn important information about the kind of person he was to marry and important definitions within his vision and his three names with their meanings did not come to him. And I could see that Kenna was very angry and he was much embarrassed before the twin sister of Azura, who is called Sethi, because with his offering, he had anticipated impressing Sethi with his ability to bring rich provisions as an offering. And this was so he could win her as a second wife and take her away from her husband and children. And when the fire would not burn his offerings, Sephi became determined to never have anything to do with his overtures. And there's a note at the bottom of the page, family, that says, At this time, Sephi was married to Mataniah, and they had three children. Kenna was also married to Awan, and they had children. This was the first severe attack against the sanctity of marriage. Let's continue reading. Sephi became determined to never have anything to do with his overtures, and his anger increased day by day, and in a little while the people would observe Kenna praying hard with prayers against his brother, and he would chant words with clenched teeth, and the people did not know what it could mean, and they stayed away from him when he chanted dark words, and soon word came that Mataniah was killed. And now, with this murder and the dispersal of so many of his family, Naki declared that his life was ruined, and he went in his sorrow before the Lord to find comfort. Now, family, I'll stop right here just to remind you all that Cain, the name Cain, means to chant. So this chanting that Kenna was doing is how he got his name. And it was wicked. And we know from reading before that he did sorcery that caused the meteorite to fall and hit and kill Abel or Mataniah. Let's continue. And now with this murder and dispersal of so many of his family, Naki declared that his life was ruined. And he went in his sorrow before the Lord to find comfort. 
And it came to pass that the Lord appeared to him, and the lad was comforted. And the Lord said, The meaning of your name, Naki, is that you are innocent of heart. Do not feel responsible for your brother's great sins. The fire did not reject his offerings to burn them because of you. You stand innocent and pure before me. And I have somewhat to tell you that will bring you understanding. This day, I will give you a new name to blend together with your name, Naki. And your name that my father will call you is Araya. And it is a very strong name. And it means you are a brother to Ari, the lion, whose name means the will of Anoki said is stronger than the will of man. And you have been a special witness to the strange behavior of Kenna in his chanting evil thoughts. And it came to pass that the Lord taught little Ariah the meaning and practice of righteousness and how the evils of Kenna were the opposite of righteousness. And Ariah was the first person upon the earth to understand the difference between righteousness and wickedness. And the Lord said, With your name, Ariah, your vision will be to protect the righteous, and you will be given great authority and strong influence to protect righteous people and holy truths that come into the lives of those who love one another. And you are charged with protecting your parents with a sure hand, and all who remain here in Nod. And when you pray for them to protect them, all creation will heed your call to them. So now I know how Yatsakad and Kava never had any harmful evils attack them. And as this vision ended, I could see with the spirit of the vision that little Naki, who is called Ariah, never did marry, because the prophecy of his coming of age was lost. And I had an undeniable feeling that he was the first person to be translated at a young age to go back to Eden because the earth in Nod felt empty without him. Perhaps he was translated back to Eden because his life's work was to be accomplished from the fourth station of heaven. Ben Elim. So family, that's it. That is the origin of Ariah, the strong angel. Family, I pray that you all were edified by this reading. I want you all to remember that I love each and every one of you. The Wada, Kai, all praises to Anoki said, Bahashem Moza, the Lamb. This is little son Sabal Nabaya saying, Much love and much shalom. <laughs>